Now, of course, the internet has gone wild, uh, manipulating the photo further for a few laughs. Many of these I can't show you, but here are a couple of the wholesome examples. I like this one. It's a obviously a cat person has. Uh, manipulated this image and I think the North Melbourne Football Club will be happy with this one which is also doing the rounds. Now Harry and Meghan think they would never have made such an embarrassing mistake because Meghan has a keen eye and freakish attention to detail. This is according to a close source. The source also says the couple would have been annihilated if they had secretly photoshopped images of themselves and their families. But uh, hello, short memories. The Sun reveals this photo of the Sussexes announcing their pregnancy was heavily doctored. That tree, Kosha, wasn't even there. They photoshopped that tree into that photo <laughs> afterwards. So it's interesting, though, isn't it, that no one really made a fuss about that. But with this, mm -hmm. possibly because Kate hasn't been seen for months, it is a big issue. Yep. I think that's part of it. Um, some nerdy people are describing the difference between the foreground and the, or like the subject of the photo and the background and the tree is the background. So that isn't as oh. terrible as the front. And like all sorts of people in the camps were fighting, pitting the Sussexes against the Cambridges are having a field day with this. But again, it was an unforced error. I don't know why it happened. And hopefully it'll run its course and you know we'll have more important things to focus on soon. Well, this is more important. After decades of communism and Peronism in Argentina, the new government has uh, just made some incredible ground. Uh, Javier Millet has slashed inflation and delivered the first monthly budget surplus in 12 years. Uh, he's called the Argentinian Trump and he's managed to slow the world's highest inflation rate from 25.5% in December. That's just the monthly rate. It's he slashed it to almost half to 132 in February, uh, he's halved the value of the peso, he's made sweeping cuts to state spending and also streamlined welfare programs. Uh, it's early days, Kosha, we shouldn't get too excited, but how is Malay making such a dramatic impact so quickly? Such a fascinating story, his whole election and then what he's done, I think it's 100 days in office. In that time, I think, you know, the, the overarching issue here is he's racing against time. Like, the situation in Argentina is so dire that he is running against the clock, and that gives him license to really do drastic things that, frankly, other countries would benefit from, but it's not so bad yet, so nobody does it. So he um, has slashed, I think, 300 jobs in the federal government. He fired one person on the air on TV, because he's also a master of media, so he knows how to make things travel. Um, he removed pricing caps and things like that, which actually short-term increased inflation a little bit, but he did that because there's just too much uh, involvement and interference by the economy, and he's trying to simplify those things. He's a free market guy. He did devalue the peso by 50%, which again, initially had some negative blowback, but he had the courage to do it. And the reason his theory for that is it'll make exports more affordable from Argentina, which will bring revenue in. So he's got a whole economic policy. He's fearlessly executing it. And uh, I think the world is watching with fascination and learnings that we can take. 